What is up, lovely designer people, designer folk? Welcome to 90 Degrees. My name is Alberto Orsini, and if you haven't done so already, maybe consider subscribing. Apparently, YouTube doesn't care about that anymore. I do. Today, we're gonna be looking at a couple different plugins. If you want to create mockups directly inside of Figma, chances are your workflow looked a little bit like mine. And that was to create your design, whether it was in Figma or in Sketch or Illustrator or something like that. You would export your design, look online for a smart object that would have smart layers to bring into Photoshop, a PSD. You would open it up, you would go to that smart layer, drop your image in there, save it out, export it, and then put it in your presentation for your clients, uh, put it, upload it to Dribble, whatever you wanted to do with that. Now, thankfully, technology has made this a lot easier for us in a great thriving community in the plugin community for Figma. And we have a couple of different options and some that I've been using regularly to actually create mockups directly inside of Figma and then just exporting to my presentations and whatnot. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Now, if you wanna follow along, the plugins that we're gonna be looking at today are Artboard Studio Mockups, Clay Mockups 3D, and Vectary 3D Elements. Let's start with some UI. And I brought in these two screens that I wanna create a mockup for. And I'm gonna show you a couple of different things that you can do here. So the first plugin that we're gonna look at is Artboard Studio Mockups. I'll launch that and this is gonna open up this, uh, this dialog. In order for me to create one of these mockups, instead of all items, I'm gonna switch over to free, just so that I know that I can actually use them. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna choose a device where I wanna place my mockup. Let's say that I wanna use this uh, clay mockup. This is an iPhone X clay mockup, uh, which I'm not super excited about because we're down to or up to iPhone 13 at this point. But anyway, let's say that I'm gonna use this one. Uh, what I'm you you have uh, several several artboards here or frames. Uh, you have screen. You have phone body color, which is you know just as it mentions. You know it's it's messing with the color of the device itself. So like let's say that I wanted to do uh, something like a like a blue, and uh, actually I'm gonna choose this purple, and I'm gonna bring in the screen. I'm gonna copy it and paste it inside of this, um, you know, screen screen area. Now it doesn't it doesn't really fit. You know, my design is meant for iPhone 12, so it's a little bit bigger. What I'm gonna do is with with this selected with the with the frame selected, I'm gonna hold Command on my keyboard and I'm gonna resize it to sort of fit uh, my, the the design of my screen, and then. Um, once I have that, I can come back to this and say, render selected frame, that's gonna do its thing. And as you can see now, this has placed my design right inside of the mockup. Um, it's worth noting that this is just, as you can see here on the left side, this is just a bitmap. So it's flattened my design to fit inside of the device itself. It didn't render the color of the device because I have to select that phone body color and say render selected frame again. And that's actually gonna colorize the device to whatever color I have. So uh, again, let's say we wanna do something crazy and I wanna use a color like this. Uh, I select that, I say render selected frame and that's gonna change the device color. Another thing that I can do is select a device such as this iPhone 12, which will, uh, again, drop the design right in. And I like this one just because, well, it's more realistic rather than uh, rather than the clay mockup, uh, which is a bit more stylized. So I can, do, again, I can drop that in and I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna go ahead and paste it uh, closer to this and adjust as necessary and uh, make that slightly larger. And I'm gonna go ahead and render the selected frame. 
boom. And that's gonna drop it into my device as intended. And personally, I like this one a little bit better. Again, it's more realistic than the clay mock-up. I have been using clay mock-ups heavily over the last few years. So I'm kind of burnt out at this point. And uh, something like this is better suited, for example, for a client pitch so that they can uh, better estimate how their design is gonna look once it's, it's launched. So again, this is Artboard Studio mockups. Now that we've looked at that, let's close out of it and look at some of the other ones. In this case, I'm gonna look at Clay Mockups 3D. And this one is uh, slightly similar to that. The only thing that I, the only beef really that I have with this one is that uh, the device models are sort of outdated. You can see the iPhone 11, Pixel 4, uh, not the greatest if you're doing UI, but the good thing is that you can manipulate the 3D shape over here. So like, let's say that I select uh, this layer and, or this frame rather, uh, it, as you can see, it's already rendering in, in real time. And I can actually uh, save that as an image. And once I do, you know, it's already there. But as you can see, the clay mockup is a little bit, um, it's not as realistic as I would like. And definitely the fact that this is an outdated phone is just not my favorite uh, to use at the moment, but easy to use nonetheless, and you can use it for other things. For example, if you have a website that you wanna render, well, then you can run clay mockup 3D and you can select um, your frame and rather than doing this, I selected the frame first. This is probably gonna take a little bit longer. I should have switched the devices first. Anyway, um, if I select instead MacBook Pro, you know, this is something, this is a device that has been updated, but it's, it's sort of discreet. Uh, and this is great, again, if you're, if you're dropping something into your website, your portfolio or something like that, you can, you can really, um, change the different angles, you know, they have some presets here, but you can also sort of fl free flow, uh, move it to wherever you want it. And once you save it, boom, you know, it comes right out and you can drop this anywhere in your portfolio and it'll look great. Now, other than Clay Mockups 3D, you can also use Vectary 3D Elements and Vectary 3D Elements is very similar in the sense that it's creating a 3D rendering of the product, let's let's go ahead and select mock-up here at the top. It's creating a 3D render and that 3D render you can uh, sort of manipulate around. Let's say this is a realistic MacBook Pro and I'm gonna select uh, my frame. I'm gonna come here and say load frame once it's selected and it's gonna do its thing and sort of drop it in there. As you can see, I can zoom in and out and whatnot. And a cool thing that you can do on this one, <laughs> I, I don't know that anyone would wanna show this, but uh, a cool thing that you can do with this one is like, let's say that you wanna create something flat. You can remove the ground shadow from it by simply clicking on this toggle that's gonna turn it off. And once you export the image, it's gonna give you this ginormous mock-up that you can drop into your presentation and your uh, website and whatnot. To me, this is a little bit busier. Uh, so even if I was dropping this into a presentation, I would probably uh, crop it somewhere around here so that you can sort of tell that this is in a laptop and whatnot, but it's displaying inside of the device and the center focus actually becomes uh, the mock-up itself or the design itself. That's kind of part of the argument of should you be using device chromes or not when creating um, some, of these, some of these examples for your portfolio. Now, these are some of the easy ways that you can create mockups directly inside of Figma by using these plugins, Artboard Studio mockups, Clay mockups 3D and Vectary 3D elements. If you found this video useful, Feel free to give me a thumbs up down below. Feel free to subscribe. Join me on Instagram to keep the conversation going. And links to this will be in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.